my students now today we are going to study addition of algebraic expression now if we look at the first question we have been given to us we have been asked to add 2x then plus 3x plus 5x now suppose we consider this strip this is suppose this is the length of a strip and if we consider this strip to be x and if we add if we want to add 2x it means we have two strips one and two strips of this size plus three more strip one two and three and then we have to add five more strips one two three four five now suppose we have these strips and we got to add two strips then three strips and five strips then how many strips are we going to get we are going to get total two plus three five five plus five ten strips all right so this is the answer for the first one this is part a now suppose we take b part where 2x plus 3x plus 5y is to be added now here we know that this is x right now i let us consider one more strip which is this strip suppose we consider it to be y all right now here we can see suppose this is y this is y and we want to add 2x which this is 2x this is 3x but instead of this we have 5y now 5y we know that they are smaller in size these pink ones and these suppose we have 1 2 3 4 and 5 and if we want to add them this is 5y and if we have want to add all the three algebraic expression they are all monomials then what do we do we have big strips yellow strips two yellow strips plus three more yellow strips so that total becomes five yellow strips plus five pink strips all right so this is the answer for the second one now if we consider see the third one that is part 3 it is given 2x added to 3z plus added to 5y now here we have to add 2x we have to add 5y but instead of 3x we want to add 3z and suppose we consider this black strip this black strip as z then this is suppose z then instead of 3x we have to make three black strips say this one two three and this is say 3z then what happens the two the sum of all of them if you add all of them then how many we have two yellow strips plus three black strip plus five yellow uh, pink strips all right so we cannot add any one of them with each other all right now see what we have understood from these uh, three questions which are given if you see the first question a part you can see all of them we have already studied about the like terms and if they are like terms they can be added all right they are all like terms like terms means their algebraic factor should be same algebraic factor in the first one is x algebraic factor in the second is x and third also it is x 
So total becomes 5 plus 3 plus 2 which is 10x. In the second case we can see 2x. 2x plus 3x can be added. So that becomes 5x plus 5y. So we have understood that if they are like terms, then only we can add them. If they are not, if they are unlike terms, they cannot be added together. This and this, we cannot add them together because this is x and this is y. x means yellow strips, 5 yellow strips added to 5 pink strips. Now in the third case, you can see all the three are unlike terms. They have all algebraic factors different. In this we have x, we, here we have z and here we have y and they cannot be added together. So we will write two yellow strips plus three black strips plus five pink strips. All right. So this becomes, this cannot be added. So we have understood that like terms can be added unlike terms cannot be added. Now if we consider few more question here instead of x, y, z we have x, y, y, x and y, z. Now in the first case we have 2 x, y and 3 x, y. 2 x, y added to 3 y, x added to 2 y, z. Now if we consider x, y to be this rectangle. Alright. Now this is a rectangle which is x into y. Now y, x, x, y and y, x. You can see we have algebraic expression. Here we have x and y and here also x and x and y. That means what do we understand? They both of they both are same. They are like terms. 3xy and 2xy and 3yx both of them are like terms. And suppose we have yz. Suppose we have made this rectangle. Uh, we consider this rectangle to be yz. Then we have to add. 2xy that means this 2 there are two such rectangles two such rectangles added to three more added to three more such rectangles plus three more such rectangles plus 2 y z 2 y z all right so here we have x y x y x y all these are x y and these are y z now if we try to add them we can see that how many x y's are there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5 x, y's. And we have how many y, z? We have 2 y, z. We cannot merge them together. Because how many this rectangle is there? There are 5 such rectangles. And there are 2 this rectangle. So total becomes 5. Total is 5 x, y plus 2 y, z. So this question we have done D part also and let us see the last one say this is x, y we have 1 x, y added to 2 y, z 1 x, y added to 2 y, z added to 2 x y z now here we have one x y we have one 
xy added to 2yz 1 and 2yz added to 2xyz. Now suppose we consider this is xyz. This is x into y into z. It's a box suppose and if we have xyz to be this and if we have two such boxes then how many then this is we have two such boxes and if you try to add all of them we can see that we cannot merge with each other they are all unlike terms. This is x, y, this is y, z and this is x, y, z. All of them are different and we cannot add. We just can say that 1, this rectangle, 2, these, this, this rectangle and 2, this shape which is a cuboid. So we have understood that while addition of how to add algebraic expression, if we are given like terms, we can add them. If it is unlike term, we cannot add them. This is the first example where we have to add the two binomials. Now let us add the two binomials. You can see I have kept it inside the bracket and a plus sign between them. I have removed the bracket. In the third step, you must, you can see that I have rearranged this algebraic expression. And we already had a talk that if they are like terms, they can be added. Unlike terms cannot be added. So I have kept, there are two like terms, that is 3x and 7x. So I have kept them together and rearranged. I've kept it inside the bracket because it can be solved. So let us solve and see this is your final answer now it cannot be further added this is our second example where we have to add the two trinomials so let's add these two trinomials these are kept inside the bracket in the next step i have removed the bracket and we are getting so many terms now we have to see if there are like terms, we need to rearrange them. And also I have kept it inside the bracket. 3x, there are 2x. So I have kept it inside the bracket. There, If we search for fifth y, we can see there is only one y. So here I have kept. If we search for z, the term which has algebraic expression z, so we have minus 8z and minus 5z. So this also I have kept it inside the bracket. And then we have just one constant. Now let us solve. The solution is 7x plus 3x is 10x, 15y as it is. Minus 8z and minus 5z becomes minus 13z plus 11. So this is the final answer of the sum of these two trinomials. This is our third example and you can see here we have polynomials. The number of terms in this case is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5 terms in the first algebraic expression polynomial and five terms in the second also. So let's add these two polynomials. Now here you can see I have to add this first polynomial 3x plus 4y minus 5z minus 3xy plus 4xyz to the next one and see how I have arranged. I have not done in the way we did it in the previous questions. In this, what did I do? I have taken this minus 5x. I kept it just below 3x because they are like terms. I have taken 13y and I have kept it below 4y because 
again they are like terms minus 5xyz i cannot keep it here so i have to search for the like term xy here so same thing we have to keep the same like term just below that so minus 5xy i have arranged it here next is 3yz so i can see in the first expression we cannot see yz in the first algebraic expression so what did i do i had kept it here next last one is 15xyz and we can see 4xyz is the like term so i have kept below that and there was no z so i have just written 0z now let us see let us add you can see the difference here that i have not kept it inside the bracket but i have while writing i had been very careful in keeping or writing the second polynomial in such a way that the like terms are one below the other now we can see the first one we have already arranged the like term so it's very simple 3x minus 5x becomes minus 2y then 4y and 13y can be added together which is 17y minus 5z plus 0z becomes minus 5z next minus 3 minus 8 xy becomes minus sorry minus 3 and minus 5 added together we will get minus 8xy next is 15 plus 4 19xyz and minus 3yz so this is your final answer now this is the third this is the second example where we added two trinomials i have taken it again because we had learned two method and we are going to give them the name the first method we have already done and we have understood the second method can be done in this way and this method is called column method which we studied in adding the two polynomials in the third example now here we can see i have arranged 3x plus 11 minus 8z is kept like this 7x minus 5z 7x just below 3x minus 5z below 8z and plus 15y there was no y in the first one so i have kept it here so let us see how to add them we have added them together and we are getting the same answer so these are the two methods which we have learned it will be better if we have a big algebraic expression having more than 5 6 terms it will be always better in fact for the trinomials also it will always be better that you use column method so here we have learned these two method 